Hi, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Uh, so today what I want to do is have a conversation with you about uh, some new things that are coming out. Uh, as you know, today is September 28th, uh, 2018, and Kenworth has announced the W990. Uh, there's been some uh, pictures that Kenworth has uh, released uh, over the last month or so, uh, and there's been some leaked pictures that have been surfacing around the internet for the last several months. But uh, anyhow, I wanted to uh, talk about that. And first and foremost, the W900, the Long Hood, the W9L, the W9B is not going away. It's still here. We can get them. We have lots on order, lots coming in for next year. It's a huge seller for us. We're not killing off any old models. So you can be put to, put at ease with that, but uh, the W990 is a new additional model, something uh, to add into our product offering. So we're excited to, to offer this product. Uh, if you like the T880 and T680 interiors, uh, this truck is going to be pretty much exactly the same on the inside. The only difference is it's a set ahead axle. Uh, it's not a setback axle and uh, you have a longer hood, a different headlight, and uh, you have side of cab exhaust, different air intakes, but uh, there's been a couple of Kenworth uh, pictures released uh, that are official and then the official launch uh, was last night in Las Vegas and uh, here's a couple of pictures of what uh, I've seen down there. So uh, let's go outside and take a look at the 76 inch mid-roof sleeper. I'll give you a tour of what that's all about, which is uh, what you would get on a W990. So let's head outside and check it out. So here is the 76 inch mid-roof. Uh, what are we looking at? Is it a W990? Is it a T880? Or is it a T680? Uh, you'll never know. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, so when you first walk into the truck here, you'll notice that it has the GT701, 2, or 3 seat. Uh, those are the optional seats that you can get in this cab. Uh, I'll just go over a couple of the features with the with the cab here. So right here or with the uh, seat right here is a quick release So you hit that button all the air goes out of the seat When you unclick it it goes back to the last setting uh, Which is kind of neat and when you're sitting on the seat I don't know if it's gonna do it with just my hand. No, it's not but it does provide a little bit of uh, resistance so it does kind of push back on you but when you're sitting in the seat and then you get up, the seat will actually go down so that it uh, gives you a little bit more space to, to walk around. Uh, this here is to adjust your, uh, your shock. So if you want a little bit more stiff or a little bit more smooth, and this is your height adjustment. Every time you go up or down, it will adjust, the, uh, adjust it by 10 millimeters. And you got your lumbar support for the low back and the high back. Uh, now on the front here, this is your chugger and then this here is to adjust the angle. I'll just uh, set up my camera here and I'll show you how that works. Uh, so with this here, you just give that a squeeze and it will adjust the tilt of the seat. So it will go up or down. Um, here it shows the range so you can see how far back it can go which is quite nice and I'll show you where that comes in handy. And then this one here is to slide the cushion out from underneath your, your butt. So it gives you a little bit more uh, space underneath there. So that's the seat in a quick, uh, quick walk around on that. Uh, on this side here, there's the heat control. And if you order it with air conditioned seats, you get a, a separate button for that. And then here's a little storage pocket 
right here you can keep your wallet or your cell phone right handy uh, let's take a look at the door panel uh, so this truck has the diamond VIT interior so it's all the button tuck and roll uh, you got the the wood uh, wood grain dot or wood grain here and then the wood grain dash which is uh, just basically an image of wood it's not real wood uh, right down here you have your your power door locks your window lift controls your uh, mirror controls your mirror heat and your adjustment here now with the mirrors they are mounted on the cab on both sides they're not mounted on the door so it gives you uh, really good visibility they're not mounted further back so they're mounted out and ahead so you don't have to uh, crank your neck to look out the mirrors uh, this truck has the leather wrap smart wheel so you got your radio controls and your cruise controls right here your jake brake is right here which is the new location for that and then you got your standard signal stat right here uh, here's your gauges it is a little dusty we've put a couple miles on this truck uh, just demoing it and showing it off to some customers uh, what model is this like i said i'll never tell um, this is your your trailer brakes your uh your spare switches and you got some additional gauges and switches here your power divider your diff locks pto switch uh the kenworth nav plus system right here which you can turn on when the truck is off so you got the keys to the off position and when you just push that button in the uh the kenworth uh, name will come up and then you'll have access to the radio and all that kind of stuff but we'll just leave it off for now uh your gauges now the truck can get ordered with uh, a total of 12 additional gauges so you can put 12 gauges here or uh, here and here or you can do a combination of the gps with gauges uh you could do a storage pocket right over here Four, six, Whoops, there's the radio we'll just shut that off now uh like i said you could do a storage pocket right over here with either the nav or gauges uh, with the nav you can get additional gauges on the uh, on the nav screen itself so i did a video previously talking specifically about the nav how to program your bluetooth and whatnot to it so uh, check that video out i'll put a link to it uh, up in the uh, top corner here so let's uh, let's take a look at the back of this 76 inch midroof sleeper uh, so there's a few different ways to configure the back wall. You can get a bunk, an upper bunk, which this one here has. You can get a storage uh, uh, shelf on the back, or you can get nothing at the back if you want. So this one here has the upper bunk, which is very easy to drop down. You just pull on that. And I, I didn't stop it with my hands or anything. It just goes down on its own. It's quite nice. Uh, a little bit less room overhead than in the uh the high bunk uh so i've done this before in previous videos but sitting down as you can see here uh you know it would you would hit your head same thing in the upper bunk as well but uh you can get in the mid-roof bunk a double bunk which is nice if you're having a guest every once in a while like your kids or something like that uh, let's take a look at the storage uh, options in this truck so on the driver's side we have a, a, a closet with a door. Uh, this shelf is optional. And then it comes standard with the storage here and here. And then you have the bar to hang jackets or pants or whatever. Uh, if you order it with the door, you get the, uh, the mirror, you get the hook, and then two map uh, pockets right there. Uh, now, the trucks come with these little rubber gaskets or, or whatever you want to call it here, rubber tube that runs all the way down on the uh the drawer here so when you close it that is applying pressure to the door all the time so it's going to eliminate rattles and shakes for you on the back here uh just see if we can turn some lights on so you got your light switch this is a little night light for the floor you have a uh a door lock so if you want to lock the truck uh when you're back here you have your fridge to turn it off and on a power outlet to charge your cell phone a little pocket here and then your heat controls uh, you have an alarm clock as well now if you order the truck with a factory installed inverter you'll get an additional piece up here or if you order it with a factory installed 
auxiliary heater, Wabasto or Espar, you get the control up there. So there's your little storage pocket. Now down below here, this is your fridge. It's a drawer style fridge, so it pulls out towards you like so. And you have your freezer right here. Uh, this can come out, so you can slide that out and make use of the entire fridge if you want. Have a little bit more room. There's a long shelf down here, again with these rubber tubes running down on both sides just to help eliminate any sort of rattles and shakes. Now on this side, you can get either open shelves or drawers. So this one has the open shelves. These guys here are removable, so you just pop them up and then it slides out of, out of place there. So you can put whatever you want in there, a duffel bag or put uh, Rubbermaid bins or something like that. Uh, so up above, we have your TV mount. You can hook up to a 22 inch flat panel screen TV on that. You have a power outlet. If you order the truck with an inverter, this goes from the regular 12 volt outlet to a like a DC style wall plug. This is where you would put the microwave. Again, with the inverter, you get a uh, wall plug right up there. And then this piece here comes out and you have a strap here to uh, hold your microwave down. A little bit of storage overhead, so you can keep that in there. And here's your table, which is a rotating table, uh, which basically you engage by pulling on this guy right down there. So uh, I'll just showcase the passenger seat here, which is a swivel seat. I've done that before. So I'm just going to get the camera set up here and I'll show you how to, how to do that. All right, so uh, with the passenger seats, there's a few different ways to do it, a couple steps. So you wanna make sure that the cushion is tucked in nice and tight all the way to the back. And then you wanna flip the little latch down here on the ground, and then you gotta start turning it. Uh, but before you do that, you have to make sure that the seat is, is a little bit further forward as there is a bar down here that would interfere with, the, uh, with turning the seat. So once you do that, you turn the seat and then you just have to slide it back so that it will clear this guy right here and then it spins all the way around. So the nice thing about this here is once you're in the seat, I'll put air into it here, just hit that quick release. It'll go back to the last setting. You can tilt the seat back Put your feet up on the bed you could even take the uh, TV mount and watch TV if you want you can take the table flip it out like so and do paperwork make a sandwich or or uh, eat dinner right up here so uh, the nice thing too is the fridge is within reach so you don't you don't even have to get up so you can just sit and relax when it's time to uh, call her quits for the day you're not having to jump all over the cab to get access to everything. So, so yeah, that's a quick tour of the 76 inch mid roof uh, sleeper in the mystery cab. Uh, again, looking forward to seeing the W990 come out. Uh, we're gonna uh, have some for sale here soon. So uh, don't worry, the W900 is not going away. I've had lots of people asking me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, lots of different platforms asking the questions or just sending me emails. Is the W900 being replaced by the W990? No, it is not. Um, so as far as I know, we're going to keep producing the W900 for a long time. Talked with my uh, district sales manager about that. So there's no issue with that. So a little bit longer tour today. So thanks for sticking around and watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like. And uh, I hope to see you on the next video next week. And uh, thanks for being here. Take care and have the world's best day.